I'm Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter, the head coach for Job Search Coaching HQ.com. That's a site with curated information that you can watch, listen to, or read that's going to help you find work more quickly. Now, I'm thinking about a younger audience for this video. People who are in their 20s and you know, the classic stereotype for some of you is living in your parents' basement. Let's think of it in terms of you haven't figured out what to do yet with your life and with your career, and this is a video for you. It could also be for someone who's mid-career and going, you know, I really think my job sucks and I don't like doing this anymore, but what do I do next? And I'm telling you, there's a plethora of careers out there for many of you that you're not noticing. And to me, it came up because I was talking with someone about my town, which is Asheville, North Carolina. Asheville is a town that basically has a a few basic careers. You, know, you can work in something medically related because it's a huge hospital here. You can work in hospitality. You can bring your job with you, and here's where this video makes sense. The fourth category is people who provide services to local residents. What kind of services are those? Plumber, electrician, carpenter. Home inspector. You get the idea of where I'm going here? A lot of you are so fixated on the job for which you don't get your hands dirty, for where you wear a nice shirt and maybe a tie and work in an office somewhere, and you've lost track of the fact that there's so many careers that have disappeared or are in the process of disappearing, not because there isn't a need, but because, frankly, there isn't the labor force there that's going to be deployed to do it. So think about it for a second. In a place where there are homes, there are, there's a need for someone with a, a restoration firm, a plumber. I, know I belong to a B&I chapter, We've got a plumber in there who's got 20 some odd trucks on the road. And they are working all the time. Long and the short of it is, these are good paying jobs. And there are a lot of places that are desperate for talent. You know, there are jobs in manufacturing now that require training and some facilities will train you and then employ you if your grades are good and you don't act like a moron during training and you have an opportunity to land. So think about it. Go exploring. Talk to people who are doing this kind of work. Just call up and talk to some places and say, hey, look, you know, I haven't really launched yet. I was one of these college grads that doesn't want to serve coffee at a Starbucks. Uh, and I'm thinking about going into your field. Can I get a half hour of your time to talk with you about what it's like to be a fill in the blank? Someone's going to take some time with you. They may even pay to send you to school for training. Obviously, you should have an aptitude for these areas and maybe tell a story about how when you were a kid, you built such and such or fixed such and such. Um, you shouldn't just take a job for the sake of having a job. The idea is the aptitude to do it too. So hope you found this helpful. And if you're interested in my coaching you, reach out to me because uh, I can help you in your job search. If you're not interested in spending money for that, visit my YouTube channel. And the easiest way to get there is jobsearchtv.com. I've got thousands of videos about job hunting and hiring there. Hope they help you. Have a great day. Take care.